If you have a math regions coming up and you're a little concerned about passing it, I would highly suggest focusing on multiple choice questions. Okay, as we'll see, uh, getting a 65 on the regions doesn't mean that you got 65% of the questions right. So let's look at the conversion tables and you'll understand what I'm talking about. If we look at the conversion table for the uh, Algebra 1 regions that was given in June 2017, uh, you can see that the Aurora score is made up from multiple choice questions uh, and open response questions. Okay, the key I want to point out is that to get a 65 to pass, you only need a raw score of 27. And if we look at uh, geometry, you say you need a, a raw score of 34. And then uh, for algebra 2, a raw score of 26. Okay, on all of these tests, um, there are 24 multiple choice questions. And each one is worth two points. So to get this 27, you only need to answer 14 multiple choice questions correctly. So if you're trying to pass one of these tests, it's important to focus on multiple choice questions. So if you look at geometry, uh, this is 34 questions, 34 points, so this is 17 multiple choice questions. They'd have to answer correctly out of the 24. And then for Algebra 2, you need a 26 uh, raw score. So on, on this case, uh, you would need 13 multiple choice questions correctly to get a 65. Now, I do want to point out that this is only for this specific exam. The other conversion tables are very similar, but there will be some fluctuation as far as maybe this goes up by a couple of multiple choice questions you correct or goes down. But the main point is if you focus on multiple choice, you'll have a really good chance of passing the test.